Everybody, we have a cool lawnmower to, uh, here today. So, have you guys ever heard of Rickle Home Centers? Right? A Rickle lawnmower. I got a Rickle lawnmower, and Mikey likes it. He gave it to me sort of under duress. What's up, Mike? Mikey's getting a present. So, well, Mike's going to get this fine piece of lawnmower art. Right? Actually, it's kind of cool. So, and we're going to clean it up with uh, this. This nice new pressure washer, electric pressure washer. You might want to check out the video on that. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure which one will come out first. Probably this one. Well, we do the unboxing, we go over it. But we're going to be cleaning, well, this Rickle lawnmower and several others. But we're going to focus on this one. We're going to get this Rickle all uh, tidied up nice and uh, get it clean and we'll get it working good for him. And then I'm going to give it to him, right? He doesn't know it yet. So I don't know if I'm, he, he's going to find out. Uh, from this video or maybe I'll just wait because I think he's supposed to come by soon and uh, I'll roll it out and surprise him with it maybe we'll get some footage of that I don't know we'll see stay tuned guys let's dig into this thing I'll see you guys in a few minutes all right start pulling off some of these pieces all right we got big what do you see this is the air cleaner they changed it this is huge actually it's in good shape I just threw it in a container I'm actually washing out some stuff from the lady painted some stuff this weekend and uh ugh. All right, so got all this uh, off. Now, the only thing I don't like is where it's got its own, the tank has its own fuel shut off, which is in the way of where you unbolt it. All right, so now we're just gonna pull some of this stuff off here and here and whatever, get it out of the way, and then we can get in there a little bit deeper. Got a nice carburetor on, hopefully that's not screwed up. I, I think it kind of ran, so it has dirt in it. It definitely has dirt in the tank. So let me do that and we'll bring it over to the clean line. There's all kinds of uses for the forks I built. Loading up some garbage wet plywood that got ruined. It's really heavy, it's really wet, and I got more. So I'm just gonna drag it out to the street like this. Just drive it out. All right, fellas, we're on a mission because Mikey's coming at 4.30 to drop off a cool snapper motor, uh, mower, which we'll, we'll check out. So let's, let's get going. I'm gonna pull this off. This, this stuff, let's see how it all comes off, right? This, we haven't seen one of these motors. What is this? The old Intech or something? These were these were good motors. You got you got an adjustment over here on the carburetor. Hopefully this is good. I might have another one. I try to collect parts. You can actually turn this around and kind of make it into a more modern machine, but you need a donor. All right, so just pull that right off. All right, and let's go over on the bench and open this up and see what's going on with it. We'll give it a little wash on the outside first. But I think it ran, and I don't know. Let's cross our fingers. All right, the reveal. Let's pop it open. It's going to be hard. Oh, so far, so good. Ow, that hurt a little. That's a little sharp. That's why. Grabbing it too tight. Here it comes. It's, oh, it's a little dirty in there. See, this is not a jet. That's, 
These were different. A little pry point. It's gonna be a little bit of water in it. Yeah, there's dirt and sediment in it. Oh, oh, it's close, bros. It's it's a bit of varnish and oxidation. Can we get this off? Let's see if we can get this off. Oh, I hope I hope so. Yeah, it's moving. Okay, good. We got that. I think this is what's wrong with this machine. And we got that. All right, so a little bit of a soak. You can't, I don't think, you can't take these emulsion tubes out. That was one of the issues. Now, we'll take this guy out. And we're going to soak it in a little bit. Um, that feels like it might work. We're going to put our tranny fluid mix on it. Some of it we'll put in lacquer thinner. Let's just put a mark on it. So that we don't forget because we get stupid. No, Arch, you get stupid. Yes, I do. So let's turn it in. Wow, it was in it was in like a quarter turn or is out a quarter turn. Alright, let's pull it out all the way. Alright, so that does not look bad. So I, it, the problem didn't go up that far. The problem is more varnish related than it is that fuzziness. We don't want to be too over concerned about that. Because it's not any place that is a big problem yet. It's really not that bad. I'm going to leave that in there for a little bit. Yeah, that's all. That's all like greasy varnish. And let me get. These are kind of nasty, so we're going to start off with lacquer thinner on that. And that too. And brush it. See, in here is where we have problems. In, in this area here, I'm going to have to maybe spin that on a drill. That's where it was getting a little stuck. It's not bad, though. I think we might have caught it just in time. Send a poker or two. Not too bad. So I'm thinking. This does not look bad. There's just these fuzzies. So I would like to take some of my Alumabrite and just kind of wet it down. It's starting to pit at the aluminum. And that will fall off if we don't kind of get it off. We want to get underneath here. Could be a blockage underneath that baffle. Yeah, there's just a little dirt in it, but it's not bad. I think we got all the varnish that we need to get off. Hopefully you can see it, but that's been oxidized. So we want to clean that up a little bit in the acid and then maybe a little scotch bright. This one is a, a hard metal tip, so we can scotch bright it. But it, it is very oxidized. All right, I'm going to put that in with the Luma Bright. And I just have it sort of soaking in there like that. And from time to time, I'll I'll blast a little bit more on. And it's, it's removing the any overplayed or whatever because there's like a, a coating on this it looks like it these are it's a different kind of metal all right i got everything cleaned up all right it's not too bad well we won't know i don't know that might be something we need to drill out i 
think that's a little port because I see a little brass thing in there. It could just be a plug. Let's see. Might just be a plug. You know, I, I don't remember what they did with these carburetors. They are different. I'd have to dig another one out and see. Up, oh, up. Oh, that, that's yeah. Make sure that's unplugged. All right, because remember the jets are different. They're not really removable. That might be your jet. That's probably your main jet. That's my guess. That's the main jet. So if ever we need to tune, that's where you're going to want to do it. So we got to get that clean, otherwise it won't run. Let's go see what it is. Um, generally speaking, when my small one goes in, it's a, it's about 28 or 29 thousandths. And that's usually pretty good. And I think we got it nice and clean. And then we're going to stick something in to just kind of clean around the jet. Yeah, just in case. Let me blow it. That's a Tecumseh needle, right, with the keeper on it. And I keep those around because they're really neat. All right, let's put our lubricants on it. This is my, my nice little tranny fluid mix. I got off most of that white junk. And now this should go in there. Let's just feel it. Yeah, it goes in no problem. All right, that's our needle. See how nice and clean that came? Can I can I get it to where you can see it? Came nice and clean. Let's hang it. This came nice. I think I didn't clean was that, but it should be okay. It's moving. Hopefully it has the right travel. Look at this guy. It's just been soaking for a little bit gas tank is drying outside I washed it super cleaned it rinsed it blew it out put some gas in it shook it around blew it out see how that came pretty clean and then this guy I also let I left this in the acid for a little bit put a little so he he I, will he sell it I don't know he doesn't usually sell stuff like this like he does have a certain cache of collectible stuff that he likes to keep. Uh, eventually some of it goes, I think, but, you know, that's for him to do. All right, that's good and tight. All right, so let's turn it. Uh, at least, you know, I, I want to take it out a whole turn. We'll do a, a turn and a half. That's. I think somebody was probably turning it. But you know what? It's on a screw, so we can always change it. All right, we're gonna go mount this. We'll be back in a bit. Load number two. All right, I pulled the plug. Plug looks decent. All right, we'll give it a quick clean. But she was running okay when she was running. We wanna tighten this up, make sure it's tight. That's the intake tube. Ain't a little loose. They usually are. That's good. And I want to check this coil. The magnet's a little rusty, but yeah, that needed a little bit. This one's different size. Let's just check that. I put a little bit of my two, my uh, tranny fluid mix on this. You need a little oil on that shaft. Um, this has got a really nice break on it, so we don't need to clean anything there. Believe me, once it's running and we release the lever, It'll do fine. I put a little oil in the lever up top and the cable down here. It seems to be okay. It's a different mechanism. Uh, so we covered those bases. I also replaced the O-ring with a good used one. I didn't like this one. Um, felt like it was getting a little hard. So carburetor's on. That's replaced. We'll put a new fuel line on too because the fuel line was no good. Uh, it was brittle. I just want to check to see if the head is tight. Notice how everything is turned around. Like I said, you can kind of convert these, but why, right? We have everything. Yeah, that needed a little help. That's good. Oh yeah. And I've talked about this, don't bother torquing it, you're not gonna get an accurate reading. 
So I talk about it all the time. Right, there's too much junk on the threads, and uh, I don't risk. I would not risk taking any of these bolts out because you could break them. Uh, you can get them out. Never use whenever you want to take them out. Never use any kind of zip gun of any kind. Um, we didn't check to see if it had spark. We got to get a little oil in this though. This seems like it's sticky, so um, you can put oil in it, but. You want to go with a very light oil, like a WD. We're going to stick with, uh, right up here, this is a good spot to put a few drops of, of regular motor oil, like a, like a 30 weight. There's a felt pad in there, and that's what helps keep it lubed. But uh, we're just, yeah, this feels better now. But well, we're just going to use our tranny fluid stuff. Let me wipe that off. Probably the best thing that we can use for that, a very, very light oil with a detergent. I say we're good here. Let me get a fuel line on it. And then what I want to do with this, guys, is I'm just going to put a little bit of chain wax in here, like I often show. I want to get it in. I can get it in here to the spring. I want to get it, you know, like kind of underneath, and then I want to blow it out with a high pressure air. We got it pretty clean, but it's sticky. So I'm going to, you know, put a little chain wax in that, and we'll pop this on. Look at the size of this filter, right? Let me show you the standard size. Fortunately, I cleaned it. Look at that. Big difference. So I got a good, you know, we got it filtered for it at least. Blade, I sprayed, it's balanced, checked. So I'm gonna go do those things and we'll put this back together again. While it's up here, let's just check the oil if it's good enough for a startup. Yeah, she's in good shape. That oil's not bad. And it's, it's correct too. So somebody tried to take care of it. Um, it was in really nice shape when I got it. It, it actually doesn't look as good because it's been sitting for a year outside in the dark and the filth. So I'm glad I'm doing this. You know, he he's gonna. I think he'll be happy. Um, another thing I want to lubricate too is this whole mechanism over here. We're gonna put a little chain wax on it as well. And. Uh, we just exercise that, but first I'm going to start off with my training fluid. And we're going to clean the handle up with some of my acid stuff. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'll get some oil down in that table too. All right, we'll be back in a minute. All right, I got a blade for him. But this is a nice blade. It's got this cup to it shape. I don't know if you can see that, but that makes it very strong. I just Sharpened it up, cleaned it up with uh, the grinder, the four and a half inch, four and a quarter inch grinder with the flapper. And you can check out my video on sharpening blades with grinders and files and balancing. And a quick paint, and but we want to get this surface clean too because any issues there can cause the blade to not sit right. And just remove any debris. And then I'm going to hit this too with the wire wheel and I'll mount it on there and then we'll go to the next step. I just grabbed it with a vise and used that drill wire wheel thing. Just real quick, right? Nothing fancy, just to make sure there's nothing, like I said, there's nothing going to be in the way. I have seen it cause a problem, so put a little oil on the threads and the wing goes towards the deck. This is a nice, nice setup. And the plug is out. Big spider. Uh, plug is out, or you can disconnect the wire. Just make your life a little safer. And uh, let's just turn it to make sure everything is okay. A little bit, almost not quite flush over here. Yeah, she, she's good. And just about flush there, so. Okay, I'm starting to hook up all the linkage and everything. One of the things I missed and I usually say it, but I'm in a rush. See, that's it's bad to be in a rush. This choke was a little stuck, so a little bit of that tranny fluid stuff uh, did the trick. Just put a little bit on there, and just because it, it, because of the gum, the varnish, that looks good. Let me adjust it, and uh, we'll continue moving forward. All right, that's the beat fuel line. I made a new one. Here's our plug, nice and clean. It was a little bit, the gap was a little large, so I brought it down. Uh, to 28 to 30 rather than that 32 and we're, we're ready to go let me put that in all right we see here so she's leaking fuel pretty bad 
So that's not good. I turned the fuel off and stopped leaking. So let's just start it and we'll turn the fuel back on and just see what it does, right? Let's just see if it runs. might actually clean up the float. Okay, carb doesn't seem to be leaking. It was running fine. We're gonna wash the handle and hit a few things with that acid that I like. So I'm gonna take our acid and some Scotch Brite, you know, that DTM body acid that I like. We'll get it all on here. We'll get some on the back, some of the other rust spots, and, uh, and just give this thing a quick clean with that and a little Scotch Brite, and then we'll rinse it off and we'll bring it in for a, a quick clear coat. You know, in a spit polish, we'll put the last few items on. Go. Mike it! <laughs> huh? That's mine. Oh yeah. That's coming home with me. Wow, what do you think? Really What's, up? What's up? What's, What's up? What's up? It runs? <laughs> yeah, it runs good. It runs good. Let's start it up. See, look how beautiful it is. Really right? Everything is good to go. No, no, it's up here. This broke. I don't know if I broke it or, but know. choke goes all the way forward, right? That yeah. should choke. Nice and quiet. Not you know, bad. You find out what year it is? No, I didn't get a chance to look, but all the info should be right there. Murray, I don't know, but data manufacturer 0708. No. So. Oh, what would that be? Um, seven, Rickle was not around, I don't think, in 2008. No, there's no way it's 78. So 98 or 88? I'd say 88. Yeah. I'd say 88. That would be my guess. That That's would really definitely good. be my guess. Yeah, check out the blade, too. Blade's good to go. All right, it got the usual. Yep. All right. It's all nice in nice shape. Good. It was yeah. kind of dirty. You know, it's not mint, but I get the handle all polished up. Yeah, it looks really good. This we could probably replace with something similar. I, did it's, not, I didn't expect this. That's a shit show. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, let's go check out the goodies. Hold right, stand by. The strap was on oh, the Oh, that's brain, fine, yeah. It didn't break. Oh, my. But it leaked all get the rid order. of those fucking things. Yeah, that's cool. I have, I have the top and everything in the bed. Nice. I have all the little I don't know which one. So what's wrong with this one? The deck wouldn't go. So something's not right I with the deck. It it's got it's a little prettier, this deck, than my deck. It, it ran, it drove. It's still got the boots on the transmission. Mine doesn't. I bought boots for mine. 
I'm going to try to get one, whichever one is in a little bit nicer shape that I can just, you know, get going and sell. That's what, sort of my plan. If I have to part the other one to do it, different tires too, I think. This, this one. Tires, that tire don't hold. Yeah, well, it's got dirt in it probably, and who knows. I'll put my uh, stop leak in it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Get a closer look at it in a little bit. I like this little trailer. I love this little trailer. You know, it's in, it's, uh, oh, it's got this nice handle here, which isn't doing anything right now. And this was for the bag. It had a bagger. So, I didn't get it with the bagger, but. Yeah. And it's not too bad. It's not horrible. I've given you worse. Yeah. A lot worse. How does the motor run? Does it run okay? It runs pretty good. It needs some fine tuning. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Let me see what I can come up with with mine and stealing maybe a few parts. Whichever one, I know mine, my deck is not as nice as this deck. Yeah. Although this deck might be frozen. And mine, the transmission in the rear, the boots are off. And something's jammed. So, I, a little tough. they get like that. That's the problem with these things. That's why I don't like them. You got to free them up. People don't take care of them, and so the trans it's a its a snowblower transmission. Yeah. All right, let's go just take a quick peek in here. Ooh. Oh, I got one of these. Well, I gave you those two. Yeah. I I need a oh, wow. I have a, I have one of these somewhere, I, got I think. I bag for it, though. Oh, that's cool. And, and a Honda. Let's make one out of the two that have the bag. That is, this a, is, nice. is that actually a Honda? What is that? I don't know. It says pooling. GCV 160, a common motor, but a pooling deck. And look, it's got this handle. It's got like the easy walk. Yeah. Yeah, it's their version. That's nice. It's on either side. That's a nice one. All right, let me get this stuff out of here. And I think I might have another one of these. This is a John Deere. I have one buried way in the back. Got yeah, well, maybe I can make one. All right, let's get this stuff out of here. That's a cool little trailer. I, that's not coming off. No, nah, that's not coming off. All right, she's all bundled up and ready to go. Rickle. You guys got a Rickle lawnmower? Mike does. Mike has one. All right. Well, that was fun. Did you see his face, right? He was surprised, right? I, I think I just managed to catch it. So, awesome guy, and thanks, Mike. See? There's the horn. All right, time to go. Lunch. Coffee truck. Anyway, got to get out of here, guys. That's it for this one. That was a lot of fun. I just want to remind you fellas that uh, I think if this video comes out first, don't forget to check out the pressure washer video. There's discount codes, coupon, I guess, code. It'll be in the description and a link in that video. Uh, it's, so far, it's working pretty good. Very economical. Um, they have other ones. They got some cool stuff, too. They got some, like, uh, battery-operated, um, almost like, like a screw gun type pressure washer thing. Right, kind of neat, right, just to kind of like boost your hose for like a couple of quickies, I guess. Whatever, check out their stuff. Um, so far, so good. I'm going to keep using it, and I will let you guys know if it ever breaks and when it breaks, if it does break. I will see you guys on the next one. This is uh, another one for the books, and like I said, it was a lot of fun. And that it is a good machine, right? I mean, kind of like a cool candy apple-ish paint job on it. And it's got heavy-duty wheels. Um, I did have a problem with one of them getting it moving again. I'd left that out, um, so I went over that too. Made you know made the adjusters work. It, it's a really heavy machine, really well made. Chrome handle, right? What the heck? I mean, when was the last time any of you guys saw a chrome handle on anything that we use? I'll see you guys later.